This is war. Secret Beast versus Egyptian gods. Here we go. The round two in Shadows of Infinity. Battle of the Gods. Secret Beast versus the Egyptian gods. Come on, it's the SmackDown we always wanted to see. Let's roll the set intro. Here we go. Raviel, Haman, and Uriah. A brief mention in an episode would be an injustice against these magnificent True. monsters. So now they will duke it oh. out amongst themselves to see which of these phantasms can reign supreme. However, they are not alone. Despite being released years later in the TV. We're still gonna let the gods in either the way. Egyptian pantheon will tear through the Almost got animation. Nice. I think it looks better than its actual masterful animation. Raviel enlists the aid of fiend type monsters to sustain an unmatched level. I don't know who's doing the voiceover, but doing a great job. Yeah, converts mundane continuous traps into a behemoth of unlimited mm. potential. Haman amasses an impenetrable wall of continuous spells. And the wrath of the gods can be incurred by sacrificing any three monsters. As a freaking mocker yell. Which beast will win this brawl? Or will the almighty god smite each and every one of them? Yeah, that was actually pretty epic. Well done. I don't know who did the voiceover or the scripting, but they did an amazing job. Really hypes up the duels. Sadly though, since it is a real life duel, it won't be as epic as the thing. But hey, what are you gonna do? Wait. Gods versus sacred beasts. Who will win? Who will reign victorious? Do they? What's up, Triff? Fresh off another victory! Had to bring in the championship. And guys, I got some good news. I just got laser eye surgery. Hey, good. So I can see my trophy even more clearer. Let's go, baby. I don't know anything about late. Well, I know a little bit of laser eye surgery, but I'm not like go. an expert. But What's going on, guys? Dual night. I think I'm that I'm you want to shoot lasers into my two. eyes? Oh, yes. Course, and it's not even permanent? Sets. No. It's I temporary. Gotta redo it every four years. I'm not gonna wear glasses. Last time we were on doing I mean, I don't wear glasses, fortunately, but yeah, it's just like let me get this straight. Shooting lasers in my eyes is not even permanent. Get out of here. To Duel Night episode number twenty. I am so grateful for the Godness Farm Duel Night, and for today we got a special episode planned, and I hope you guys find it super enjoyable because I got many more specials in the future. And these are honestly just the coolest things to work on. So, I guess uh, I'll let Sam deal with it now. Enjoy, guys. Guys, it's so great to be back. Episode 20 is going to be insane because Jesse has done something crazy and revolutionary to the draft. And cannot wait to draft in today's episode because we know the gods and the shadow beasts are involved. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited. Wow. And Patreon, if you're seeing this one day early, man, you know what I'm saying? We're growing bigger and better here on the Patreon, and without you guys, man, you, you, you know what I'm saying, like... You have to go out and get a like real job, you guys. I appreciate or at least a traditional job, on because Patreon. to be fair, being an editor and all that stuff is a real job. And smash the thumbs up button, and just subscribes. I heard that explained by some VTubers when they got straight to traditional alone, jobs. It's like, you know, I can agree to that. In today's episode, right now, which gods? Leave in the comment section below. All right, let's see what we got this time. We got Trip, Sam, Jesse, and ah, uh, Frog Ever, did it? The brother. Seems that Jesse's gonna try to go for Haman. My brother's going for Raviel, and obviously Trip is taking all the gods for himself. The little greedy friend. I think spear mode doesn't First exist all, yet. How, uh, how, how's your drafting experience? Is it good? Yeah, I guess clean. You're not clean all yours? I like mine too. My name's pretty interesting. Oh, my. Okay. Be careful, boys. He's got laser eye surgery, but he's still wearing the sunglasses. Yeah, that's where, like. I got three. I got two of brothers. Safety. Is that something? Ah, I'm gonna stop right there. 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 I'm gonna stop right no funny against cards this time. Steven, 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 Steven. 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 Steven.
yo, get, get your game on. on. No, it's work to do the duel. Doesn't yeah. matter. Get to play against Trip Gods, rookie Gaming. guys, gods. That's actually, actually pretty hype. I don't think we've played since he beat me in his revenge match all the way back in PGDs. This means it's only the third time we're playing. We're even, that means. One and one. That's unacceptable. Let's make it 2 1 my favor. <laughs> Except, bra, you've lost opponent, consistently. And I want it this way. It's not a real victory unless you face the best. So once I best Jesse, Samer Soom is next. And Shoot, I'm that was home my, my bad. third trophy of the season. I gotta remember, like, Heretic Mark Dragon of Soup. Let's go. Ooh, I'm facing my brother, Sam. Guys, I grew up playing Sam. Trust me, back in the day, every single night we play, we stay up, you know, high from our mom because our mom made us go to sleep early. But you know what? Now, I want to beat Sam. I've never beat him He's on the night. Stay. You got to make sure his mom today, isn't coming to go to bed early, Who's with me? Oh, Zoom. Oh, 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 I thought it was Zoom. I'm facing Zoom. Huh. I'll try to do better you know, with that. Guys, you know, as uh, the big bro. You know Other what I'm languages. Saying? Uh, it's, just, it's just how, you know, the family functions. I respect the culture. You know, the big bro always win. Little bro always lose. So I'm telling you right now, it doesn't matter what deck Zoom has. <laughs> but I won't respect that. Okay, so we got the Haman deck. Or the Striking Thunder. And here's the deck I built around it. Um. So... This one oh, is okay, ambitious. There That's the there's way I the like prismatic. It, I'm like, you I don't see a Haman, but there's the prismatic look to it that three screwed ant me. Eating ants as my back removal and supplements the power that Haman has. But it works with spells and traps. That's cool. I also managed to get Ancient Gear Golems. Now, this may look silly, but it means I can combo with Ancient oh. Gear Castle or with Light in the Load, both of which are continuous spells that synergize with the first two monsters I mentioned. Andy. The main strategy, however, though, as far as my continuous spells go, is Archerfiend's Oath and Convulsion of Nature. When those combo off together, I get to add a free card every turn from the top of my deck to my hand. That will get me super far ahead mm. if I manage to pull it off. And if I don't, Archerfiend's Oath plus a big eye still has oh, some awesome synergy big eye, to get me far, farther ahead in the game. This is my deck list. You may laugh now. In my deck, it revolves around one main strategy. The real god cards. Not no Walmart dollar store god cards, but the real ones. Merrick, Kaiba, and Yugi. Even the, what's, what, yo, what's the guy's name with the bald head? Strings. And like, like earrings and glasses. Oh, far from Barba. Guy. It looks <laughs> I'm gonna shout out to him, the Slifer Exodia guy. We're gonna win this one. No matter That's what, throw all my homies back in season one. And then after that, we're gonna defeat all these little budget, little Yuria, Ravel. I don't even know their names until today. They're all going down. The main strategy of my deck is to summon these bad boys up with powerful spells like Soul Exchange, powerful monsters like Treeborn Frog, and utilizing the Knights. Queen's Knight, Jack Knight, and King's Knight. My favorite god card of all. Obelisk the Tormentor! Shout out Kaiba. You take this card and you fist to fate the opponents back into last episode. Let's go. All right, guys, we just finished the draft. Here is my deck list. So if you guys can tell from looking at my deck, we are built around Raphael. And of course, Moisture as you guys know, too. I won nice. with Dark Worlds, so I had to, of course, go with the Dark Worlds. That World makes team. sense. Again, if course, it ain't broke, don't fix it. Is Raphael my boss monster? I'm trying to get him as out as fast as possible. His effect is I can tribute summon three fiend monsters to special summon him. Oh, oh boy, you guys all know, Karimo. He is going to be my strategy on bringing out my boss monster. What's special about Karibo is that, of course, if he's in my hand and I get attacked, I can send him from my hand to the graveyard and I take zero battle damage from that battle. But, of course, I don't want Karibo for that effect. I want Karibo because I have the card called Multiply. Rookie. <laughs> Multiply says that if I tribute Karibo, I can special summon as many Karibo tokens. So, of course, five, four, three, two, one. As much as I want, but they won't be staying on the field because, of course, I would need Raphael to tribute those three fiend tokens, not to tribute summon, but special summon Raphael. That is my big strategy, bringing up my Raphael. Of course, as I just mentioned, my deck is built around Dark World, so I have big cards like Dark World Lightning to, of course, pop face down cards, and then, of course, discard my Dark World monsters to get off their effects. And then, of course, I have Makes some sense. special secret monsters such this as. This way, seeing all these Dark, Dark World fear, stuff were freaking um. Right, can you put out the archetype of Dark Worlds recently? Types, of course, Ravael. 
Karibo and Dark Knight of Fear. I swear there's another video that had Dark Knight of Fear. It might be the sequel. It might be this. Yeah, He's a secret man. Yeah, so you know, I don't know. And hopefully he'll come clutch for me during That's the duel. That's funny, the point. Alright, guys. So as you saw in the beginning, I got to draft the Uriah Lord of Searing Flames. So during the draft process, I tried to draft as many cards that complemented the Uriah strategy as much as possible. Here is my deck list. All right, guys, you guys see about the darkness right here. This is a Uriah-based deck. My number one priority when drafting in today's video was to draft Sangyan and Miss Tomato. The reason why Sangyan is so powerful in a Uriah-based deck is because Uriah has zero attack. So that means if Sangyan gets destroyed, I get to search Uriah directly from a deck to my hand. And if I have a higher chance seeing Sangyan, I have a higher chances of seeing Uriah. My next strategy was to draft all the trap cards as much as possible to complement Uriah. All these trap cards are very, very powerful in my deck and Keynote, I hate drafted as many spell trap card hate as much as possible. So I took the true nades, you know what I'm saying? And I also took the Royal Decree. Royal Decree is taking that obviously card. kind of bad in my deck, but it's kind of good because I can use Royal Decree to my advantage. I can turn off <laughs> anytime I want because of Uriah sending I mean, that is essentially turning it off. That is turning it off as well. I get to bounce everything back and just game shot right away with Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. Oh, fun fact, once Uriah comes out, I get to destroy a smaller trap card. If I call priority, your opponent cannot chain anything. Deal with it, Uriah. bitch. So, if Bottomless existed in this draft, cards like Bottomless will not be able to get used on Uriah. That's just a fun fact for you guys to know. Honestly, regardless, I'm super duper excited. I get to play the Shadow Beast version of Yami Yugi. Time to win this tonight, baby. What? Here we go. It's not even close to accurate. Anyway, first duel. Honestly, I actually don't like you right now. I mean, oh, your brother, so no, you both love and hate each other. You always cheer for Jesse. Why? You always like, oh, big brother. Yeah, oh, big brother. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, yeah, my big I swear Simon's the most wins of doing that. The funk? Oh. Sorry, we roll. No, 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 no. No, 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 it was off the screen. That was two. How no, was it? He got a two. Okay, didn't see it. Didn't see it. Bruh. What? <laughs> That's not fair. Oh, 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 oh. That's the line, line bro. Ew. Oh, sorry. Sorry. All right. Four. Oh. Your boys first. Good luck. Thank you very much, Sam. Yeah, uh, if if. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. What does that mean? All right. <laughs> I'm first. Sam, you good? Um, I'm wonderful. What do you mean? You're wonderful. Well, you're. All right. Whoa, what was that? Six. Oh, that was seven. Come on, Sam. That's what you did when we were younger. <laughs> okay. First, I'm gonna use. Different Dimension Capsule. What does that do? What it does is I can uh, pick a card from my deck and choose it to come to my hand in two turns. Wow. Yeah, but you don't get to see it. Congratulations. Yes. Here's your reward. And, um, you can't lose this. You really can't lose this. Okay. 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 I got a pretty good start to Different Dimension Capsule, of course. I can get any card from my deck to my hand. And you know what I'm picking. Raviel, boss, come to me. All right. So you're adding this to your hand? I'm adding this to my hand. Yeah, okay, yeah, um, you, um, you can show them. I, I, I actually want to show you guys. Is that okay? Can I show, but I can't show you right now. Yeah, don't show me, but you can show them. All right, I'm bringing this card to my hand. Raviel. Okay. All right. So in two standby phases, different dimension capsule. He, uh, you can just, you, you can actually destroy it. So it stays on the field. Yeah. If you didn't know that, uh, yeah, I, I just know. want to teach you. I can read. Okay, my bad. Uh, I'm going to set one. Yeah. We used to think the and different dimension I'm capsule was actually better than gold uh, starch because it's a face down card right, that is a mystery. Then well. I got my capsule MS key and I'm like, oh, oh wait, to... Gold Sark is. Um, I am going to better. normal summon and miss it the map. I mean, it's a pick your poison sort of thing, but it's like, <laughs> yeah, I kind of decided because <laughs> Dino gets that card at all. Okay. Dark Mimic level one. Destroys. You draw a card. Uh, yep, it's destroyed. I draw one card. Yes, sir. It's pretty good. Okay, Three, cards. Three cards in my hand. I'll take it. Set. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. I end my turn soon. That's a lot of cards in your hand. That's a lot. My turn? Yes, sir. Draw. Watch down by face on different dimension capsule. Congratulations. Count. Wow. Thank you very much. I Hold appreciate up. that. I didn't think you had it in you, but I'm you surprised me. To normal summon what? Beige Vanguard of the Dark World. Whoa. It's pretty strong. Really, really good. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Yes, sir. I'm going to enter battle phase. Yeah. Attack. On attack decoration, I will use the card Be Gone Nav. What does that do? Nave or Nav? Nav. 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 Maybe. Is it, I believe it's Canave. It's, it's Canave. Canave. It's be gone Canave. Okay. As a fact. Uh, it says, uh, if a monster inflicts battle damage to a player, return the monster to the one's hand. Oh, nice. Oh, hey. Uh, uh, yeah, you, I lose 200. Okay. 
So, so he no, dies. he turns the hand. He he hand. Yeah, Tomato does die, though. That was correct. Oh, cool. oh, I think it's. Oh, it works for me. Oh, whoops. Wait, but does it go to your hand? It's. it's, it's it might have returned that monster. To, okay, so I. So, yeah, since so the monster that looked at him, it's just the so one that returns the hand. I am going to get. Sing. Oh, but you can't attack me because if you attack, it goes to your hand. Yeah, there's a thousand. Why not? Oh, shoot. Sure. True. Sure. I mean, you summon yeah. yeah. Oh, a smart player, right? Mystic Tomato, summoning my Sangyan is one of the most crucial plays in my entire deck. Because once Sangyan dies, I get access to Uriah, Lord True. of Searing Flames. Soon, thank you very much. Okay, good. Um, and main phase two, I'm good. All right. And, and yeah. I draw a turn. Yep. Wow, so much. Wow. Okay, soon, I am going to go. Enter battle phase, stack to a thousand. Nave okay. activates, yep. turns the hand. Effects of Nave. Nave. Begone. You're on, Knave. Knave. Begone, Knave. Add a Knave to my hand. Yep. Um, now, soon, I am going to normal summon Sanjan. Okay. I'll end my turn. All right. That's pretty. That's pretty that was yeah, that was it. it. Yeah, that was it. Kind of. Draw. Yeah. Different dimension capsule. Yep. I get to activate this guy. Congratulations. This guy comes to my hand. Wonder what that is. Yeah. True. You want to guess? Uh, I think I know what it is. Okay, interesting. Um, I'm going to normal summon Braun. Okay, gamer. Okay. Mad King. Okay. Okay. Yep. Braun, Mad King. Enter battle phase. True. Tax sign again. Yep. See my 800. Yep. So we got Mad King in one. Okay. Then I'm turn two. Yep. I'm going to discard beige. Base effect is V discarded. I yep, okay. Spice so, summon him. So chain resolves. Chain, chain resolves. resolves. Spice summon. No, it's a new chain. Okay. So this bounces your hand. Okay, gotcha. Okay. And now effects. Sang again. Thing. Mage two. Yep. So yep. Base spice summon. Yep. And Sang has effects. Sang will search. Okay. Search. Uriah. Lord. So now we both have our second pieces in hand. Wow. Sang can add Uriah. That's a pretty good combo. Yeah, it is. Pretty good combo. Anyway, crap dash shoot. Yes, sir. Um. I'm gonna use my ah! <laughs> Uriah. Love yeah, he seems a little too flames. cocky. It's like oh, something's up. Very unfortunate. I know. You have that in your hand. Soom uses Mind Crush. Activate Roll Decree. I knew that Soom had something up his sleeve. That's why I was prepared, and I had the Roll Decree set, and now I get to use it. Uh, <laughs> Royal, oh my mother packer. Okay. So that means nothing happens. Congratulations, you are correct. To be honest, what? I knew you had that. Really? I, I felt you did. Okay. And I did it only because Be Gone, the naive will not take effect. True. 1600 is nothing. That's pretty smart though, right? Yeah, that's that's smart, that, that doesn't negate Be Gone, the Yave. Anyways though. Yep. Maybe no, I'm doing it. Back to your face. No problem. All right, so I'll, I'll take that. Okay. Oops. You take those there. Wow. It's kind of scary now. You're in unknown okay, territory. I'm going to um, end my turn. Wow. That's kind of unfortunate. Go. Draw the turn. I will flip. Roll command. What does that do? Uh, just, I'm just flipping it. Just straight aside by final attack order. Oh, wow. Uh, main phase one. Ah, here we go. These three. To the GY. For tribute summon, Uriah, Lord Let's heat things up. Oh, no. The Egyptian god. Sacred here. Beast. Yes, sir. We know it's a joke. <gasps> Uriah. Oh, my God. Apparently, Uriah is one of the best Sacred Beast monsters. Or, if anything, the best. This is tough. I do like how they difference between... Um, 3,000 because of three traps in my graveyard. Okay, so uh, in the, 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 the Egyptian god, yeah, have two monsters with mysterious four, attack points two, and one with a solid 4,000. The Sacred Beast have two oh, no. at 4,000, and one with question mark attack so points. And his effect is, also, funnily oh, enough, in the anime when a James Bond Jackie Byron, Uriah gets his ass gotcha. kicked like three times. <laughs> it could, it uh, dies the most. Every god two, dies, at, every beast dies at least well, once, but well, Uriah dies well, three times. And do so you guys see on this point right here? I activated Giant True Nade. I don't know about the U of L doing like that, but I usually watch the kind of mirror stuff. That's what the U of L doing. My trap cards are really, really good. So using Giant True Nade to bounce back all my traps, so I can reset them. Giant True Nade might come right the frig really out of nowhere, but that was still a nice duel. I want you guys to know. Now I will set three back row, and I'll end my turn. Your turn. 
Okay, my turn. So sure. roll the crease, one of the traps. Draw. I'm at 56. I can probably survive. Just a little bit. Um, set one. Yep. Go. Oh, well, draw. I need something. Come on. All right, guys. So I just drew something really, really, really good. I'm gonna pretend that it was a bad card and just. What did you get? Morphing jar. My big brother. You are on attack. Cyber jar. Attack. attack. Ah! Uh, <laughs> goodbye, God. <laughs> Night assailant. He fell right into my trap. Night assailant. Manny the bug. Essentially, I Manny the bug. Yeah. Oops, sorry. This card. I knew it. It's a flip effect. It's basically Manny the bug, but he does it with a blade. So it's cooler by default. <laughs> You are so stupid. Should have monster Sad. reincarnated. Destroyed. Bye bye bye. Oh, bye bye bye. Guys, this is the worst misplay I've ever done I'm doing here on Doom Night. I just ran into my assailant, and my face down card that I have was Royal Command. Ah, uh, when the gate effect, bro. Thinking, man, what was I thinking? I just lost my Uriah. I just <laughs> lost my gun. So, so dumb. I cannot believe that just happened. Night assailant comes, guys. Never count out the man eater bugs and night assailants. All right, I'm telling you. That was crazy. See, Sam didn't think it was coming. <laughs> no, I, 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 I have oh. to that card. My turn. Yeah, your turn. Draw. I'm gonna summon the Kuribo. Cyber Kuribo beatdown. Kuribo, enter. Battle face. Yep. Attack 300. This is buddy Yugi versus Noah with this. Yeah, how I assume I'm going to attack directly attack 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 because I have to do something. I'm set two. On my turn. I assume I draw a turn? Yes. So one card face down? Yes. I will end my turn. Uh, on the end of your turn, I will use. Oh, here comes my <laughs> Karibo. Right. This is. This Kribo will get Ravi Ugg material set up. Kribo tokens on the that was field. nice. Types and I've used this drive to get out Ravio as well. Five tokens. Let's go. That and um, yep. Destiny Hero Plasma. It's my turn. Your turn. I'm gonna end. I'm drop Because Plasma just drop. like needs uh, okay. three three monsters. Doesn't very, care very if it's teams or not. Uh, very very monsters. interesting. What I'm gonna do? I am gonna sacrifice three of my Bye. tokens. Okay, okay, okay. Three B, three B, three B. The only Raphael, Lord of Phantasms, come to the field, Midi Obelisk. Yes, oh sir. boy. A fun fact to know, he can be summoned because uh -huh. of the fee tokens. Mm. Right? Big brain, big it brain is. Play. It's a good combo. Big brain play. So as big brain play, as I was drafting, I was like, how can I summon this guy? But multiply with the That was the answer to my problem. It works. It works. Wow. All right. So his effect. So now his effect is... Well, uh, each time your point normal summons a monster, special summon one token. Free summon monster, these tokens count against two Once per turn, I can tribute one monster. This card gains battle. Uh, that monster battle. attack points. Yeah, so yeah, I tribute token gains 300. But you mean see it against that? No, no, no. Each token's at 300. Oh, against yeah, that. Okay. okay, yeah. Anyways, so I'm gonna enter. That's a good idea. Attack. Uh, activate. Spawn yeah. circle. That's pretty good. Great, yeah, Ravio can't attack, attack now. That's pretty good, that's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. No, not bad, not bad. Okay, your turn. Here we go. Spell Binding Circle. The circle that was used to bind Exodia is the gonna be Ravio, Lord of Phantasm, that monster. I know, like, Spell Binding oh, Circle is in, in Exodia's oh, background. We're just saying that loud. It's like, what? Oh, it didn't do God. that in the anime. These traps, man, are annoying. Did it? Girl. There was Yuki versus that random Hunter Exodia player. Maybe he did have there. Someone fact check if you can. I'm, I'm freaking sick, dude. I'm the best player you in the world. You know that was just by changing oh appearance. Yeah. Flip. Okay. Making sure that doesn't happen again. Flip. Anything? This guy in the Uriah. One second. I'll use my wall. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Before the guy comes out. This is a good duel, I think. Oh, it's a really great duel. I think it's a good um, duel. Attack of my three. Oh my goodness. Come on. You guys thought the first Uriah was good? <laughs> How about the second one? Summon Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. But this one is not a 3K. Six. It's that. They say the sequel is rarely as good as the original, but there are the there floor. are some uh, so exceptions to that rule. So then he's, he'll, he'll, he has less than... Uh, 
Grandma, yeah. Oh my goodness, Uriah's back. But this time, he's stronger than before. 6,000 attack, he's stronger than my Rabbi Yo. No! I gotta find a way to beat this second one now. Things just yeah. getting tougher, boys. Uh, 6,000. Uh, I'll enter battle phase. Okay. okay. Again? Whoa. Attack. Wait, did, did, do I get a token? Because he, he wasn't was normal summon, he was special, special summon. Special, yes. special summon, oh wow. Attack. Okay. Two thousand. Two thousand. Okay. Imagine Rabio got a token every time you special summon. That'd be great link material. Token has too much defense. Yeah, great. Still be decent. So one. I have my turn. All right, guys. Two thousand. Two thousand. I'm not in a good position. There's only one card in my deck that can save me. Heart of the cards. Come on. Come on. Okay, that's pretty good. <coughs> Your turn. <coughs> my turn. Yep. Wow, that's pretty strong. So does that mean, so draw face? Does that mean his effect is kind of negated because? Yes. It's so I don't have to sacrifice it. All yeah, right. It's pretty good. Well, that's good at least. Okay. I'm going to. Measure like forced set. to pay the 2,000. That'd be insane. Oh my god, you let it live? You gonna just attack it with a Yeah, then I yeah. die. True, true, true. Yeah. Wow. So I mean, yeah, I'll do 200 slow. damage in exchange for fucking 5,700. I got two cards, yeah. yeah it's not All right, so I use this effect special in the Dark Moon level three. And if Dark Moon um, level three dies, you can draw two cards. So one, well, I'll enter a battle phase. So in the Dark Moon, I am going to. Maybe level five, bro. Uriah. Uriah? But I guess yeah. for like a skill angle, it's not bad. <laughs> yes. Thank term. If it goes through a battle and sent to the graveyard, are, are you okay with that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Yep. So lose 500. And I get to summon two germ, giant germs from my deck. Yep. In face up attack position. Oh. Trying to suicide Dark Moon Mick. My boys. You, you doing a crash into one? Just, just, just for the fun of it. Just takes the 500 damage. I have to put the giant germ in the yeah, only show like once yes. in the anime. At least in the okay. main, at least it like in sure card they're, form, they're here, like monster so like form, not card form. Or tokens, or tokens, yeah. Um, gotcha. But the, my point is like, it showed up once by Kaiba and during the uh, Noah duel. I'll crash into one. But he only robot specimens one five, giant jerk yeah. for its effects. So uh, effect, Kaiba was yeah. running two yeah. giant jerks. Yeah. He was probably running three, it's just we didn't see the third. To be re you create Kaiba's duel with the deck intense. from the Virtual Board arc. So you, like you gotta play two giant germs. Wow. Yo, it is really hot in here. I'm gonna yeah. hold it. Set so one card face down. I end my turn. Now, of course, you can just turn? add it in a third germ. I don't think anyone Draw. will shark you, but there I'm might be that one jerk. All my three tokens and the giant germ to summon Ravel Lord. Are we really doing this again? Okay. It's pretty good, eh? Yes. He is running a dark necro fear. Um, all right. Then I'm going to. Wow, that's your second time mm -hmm. with Raviel. Amazing. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to bring him out. I want to bring him out. And then I'm going to enter the battle phase. Yep. I'm attack your face down, monster. True. You're smart. Brain jacker. If it lived, I would have stole that, and I would have killed you. I believe you. Yes. Unfortunately, it didn't live. True. Thank you very much. That's a. It's called a big brain play. Yep. I'm going to That's what I'm flip monsters. One card phase down. I'm gonna end my turn. <laughs> I can make a laugh too. It's near deck, man. <laughs> Draw turn. Come on. I will enter the battle phase. Yes. Uriah, attack Ravio. Raviel. Guys. See you. See ya. Don't worry. I would. I lose two thousand life points. I'm at sixteen hundred. Set one card phase down. It's scary, scary. And I end my turn soon. Oh, I forgot. You get roll decree. You can't even use your traps. No, but I just said it, so I can. I can still activate it. Oh, sure. To have a rag and tribute it. But it'll yeah. be negated. All right. Yes. My turn. Yes. Draw. Your turn. Pass. Pass. You're at sixteen hundred soon. Yes. Wow. Damn. Uriah. Lord. Nice sailing two. Flame attack. Lebron. <laughs> Lebron. Lebron. All right, two. Uh, that's pretty much it for me. Yeah, for you. Yes, sir. I need to draw the cards, guys. I need one card in my deck. You draw. Here's Graffa. You can't draw anything to win. What if Graffa? Here's Graffa. Everybody else say, would you kindly frig off? No way. What does it do? 
There's no thanks to me, Casper. No, it does. No, I actually have something. Okay, you can do it. <laughs> Guys, I actually get a pretty good card. Do it. I'm, I'm serious. Do it. I'm gonna normal summon. That's gonna be copycat. Ooh. Ooh, we're so scary. Yeah, that's okay, scary. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna set one card. Another okay. multiply. Okay. Maybe Berserker Am Crush. Yeah. I'll set one card face down. Yeah. And then. Set one card face down. End me turn. Okay. I assume Karibo, so that means. Draw face. Yep. Yeah. Stab my face? No, nothing. Go. I'm gonna use. Again. Multiply. Alright, no problem. Trick my Karibo. Five more. Karibos I'm just stall. To my side. Defense mode. You're just like, like, you're like just stalling. Pretty much. Just stalling. Yes, sir. Multiply again. Honestly, like I'm like Kaiba with the blue eyes ultimate man. I just can't attack. You had activate during the standby Karibos. phase. Or Uriah's back row removal Come effect on. could destroy it. Uh, Uriah, priority. Yeah. Destroy. Oh, chain. You can chain that. Grab. <laughs> I'm just. I can chain for fun. Oh, wow. You can. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Right. Uriah says you can't face. chain, uh, and Rotary also says you can't chain. Uh, and my turn. Any turn? Yeah. One second. Let's see. Rotary would say you can chain, just yep. not gonna do yep. anything. Yep. Go. All right. Ready? Yep. I need one card. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 Two. Set one. Yep. All right, guys. I have only one hope. I'm gonna set my face down card, and I need Sam to not destroy it. Asking for big things. If I get that, we have got a chance. Sure. Draw. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> guys, this is gonna be a long duel. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a long uh. duel, Sam. So I'm scared. Sam, guys, I'm sweating. He's sweating. Draw a spine. I think you're sweating. I see you, Sam. Well, I, I see this little sweat I'm there. Actually doing, I'm actually doing amazing. Actually. You're doing amazing. I think we're both doing amazing. Uh, right now, Sam, looks like you're, you're in a good position, Sam. You're, you're right. Enter a battle phase. I'm gonna attack. It's probably a, 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 a guard scar, right? Fine. Come and find out. Probably a scar. Do you want to come and find out? I'll attack your token. Win? Nice. Okay. You blew up this way to win. Uh, I am my turn. That card is definitely Scar, Scout of the Dark World. The reason why I didn't attack Scar, Scout of the Dark World, is because I didn't want him to get more resources. Scar allowed to search when so died to battle. I decided to leave that one set and went for the token instead. <laughs> yes! Oh. Draw face. Yeah. Draw. <laughs> Sam, I am. Why, why, why? What are you why, doing? Why, why, why? Did you attack my token? What is that? First. <laughs> I'm going to tribute all three of my tokens to summon the third. There's that's a charm. Lord of Phantasm. Stay for response. No response. Bombless trap pool. Nothing. Nothing. I want you to know something funny. Yeah, trust the orc or something. Tardy orc. That is a special summon. I'm going to flip summon. Snarl, it was Scar. The dark world. Yeah. Tribute summon him to summon gold. I see world. now. Do I get a token when I summon when he points? Okay, no, okay? And remember, how much time does he have? 6,000. Remember gold's effect. Remember Ravel's effect. I can tribute summon. I can tribute summon one monster on my side, and he gains the attack points. Oh, and that's like all I wanted. You did not attack my monster. Oh. I tribute gold. Ravel's That's great, that's biatch. Just more than enough. Stronger than your Uriah. Slifer slacker. That was exactly the play. I needed gold to come out so I can sacrifice gold to boost up Raphael to be just enough stronger than Uriah. Let's go! Lord of Phantasm, enter the battle phase. Raphael, attack Uriah! Oh my goodness! Now unless Sam top decks like a god, it's over. Or just gets a monster they can pass right. with. I just turned that game around. The game's not over, but boys, we're in this. So he has 6,300 till the end of the turn, though. He's back at 4K. I had my turn. The card now. That was insane. That was insane. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm changing gear to see how many your eyes you have left. So you use one. You use two your eyes. Monster so you use one more your eyes. His hands empty. Seven. Big brother. 
I'm oh so happy. I'm so happy, guys. Because <laughs> I want you to attack my mom. I was scared. <laughs> Fear. Oh, guys, I've never been so happy in my life. Okay, I have my turn. <laughs> so you got 3,800. I have got my turn, bro. I draw. Sam. Ramoya. Global of Phantasm. Obliterate Teeth. Soon's reverse psychology paid off. <laughs> Mind games. Oh my goodness. All right, Way to go, guys, bro. You did a great it. job. Oh, Good duel. That's smart him sometimes. Work smarter, see? not harder. I honestly thought I was gonna lose. Good work like, soon. Sorry, Sam. See, you can't be short this time. You did really good. Cards, Unfortunately, your deck didn't give you any more monsters. If you were just like to just summon more monsters done. and attack guys, more tokens, honest, you would have won. Really hard. One of the things I realized after the match, I just could have kept all the trap cards in my hand. So each time I draw, when the hand size limit is seed six, I can just keep sending. Oh, yeah. That would have been great. Hands to the grave nah, well. So I can keep boosting up the Sunday morning attack, quarterback or something like that. Man, I realized that after no, the match, Monday so. morning quarterbacker. And there were so many mistakes made, but congratulations nice to Sue. That Ravio play was insane. That was some anime moment right there. Yeah, we guys. got a lot of anime moments in this. It's quite finals. surprising. Right, guys, my journey does not end here. I'm no. I'm going to Patreon right after Jesse and Steven finishes for the ultimate losers match. Join the Patreon right now and see the clash of the gods with me. In the ultimate losers match. I'm just thinking in stride, I guess. And now let's see what Trip versus Jesse can do. The ultimate rival of Ultimate Destiny, Yugi versus Jesse, Kaiba. Jesse, Jesse. Who needs that? I will defeat you. Also, I saw that bird. Smooth, right Trip. Real smooth. You already got it last week. I really cannot let you have it for the third time already when I haven't won once. That's just. Nothing will be right in the world if that happens. Yes, <laughs> except everything will be right. We will go high roll. Bye! Yeah! You're better than five! Good luck beating that. Yeah! I have won the dice roll. I will decide to go first. Good luck, Jesse. You'll need it. You'll need it! The only way you can beat a six of you world of seven, like in the original Yu-Gi-Oh manga. The All dice right, broke! It landed turn. seven! No, All it right, broke. You turn. need I'll to get a new die. That's fine. I will take Queen's Knight. <laughs> and then after that, I will activate different dimension capsule. All the search cards out of the way. Yeah. Yes. Gonna, hey, it's uh, open any Yu-Gi-Oh duel. Search, 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 search. I've chosen my card. What's something weird that they do in the Yu-Gi-Oh scripted fan shows? Just like I activate my search card. I activate my search card, bro. You just scripted that you have the card. I but I guess search. Drawing the search card is more realistic than just drawing everything you need to be there. Eventually in the duel, he's gonna get you know? value to summon out Jack's knight. But I don't. I know Jesse. This guy's a genius. I don't want him to know I had this. So I did actually set a mystery monster here, and hopefully later in the duel he'll realize it's not, and maybe it'll turn in my favor. Yeah. But we gotta find next level. He wants him to think it's Queen's Jesse. knight. This guy's Pegasus himself. So we gotta do plays that even trick ourselves sometimes to win this duel. Oh, good. We're, our strategy is play moves even you wouldn't see coming. You know, I just top deck the best card in my deck. What'd you top deck? Archivine's Oath. Oh, uh, so? By paying 500, I declare the top card in my deck. I'm sure. You don't know what it's gonna be. You're not Pegasus. But I do. <laughs> we got a one-two combo here, boys, girls, and everything in between. Oh my god. I paying an extra five hundred. Oh god, that's scary. Pay five hundred to give him a thousand. Uh Shiza. Um anyways, I I'll pay five hundred to get my upstart. Ooh. Uh-oh. is next. Uh-oh. I want to use this upstart now, or do I hold it? I guess I can save it when I know what I want to draw. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Ooh, you don't really want to draw him on. Right off the bat. Now the next card's oh apply to greed. Oh, I'd upstart for that. Means oath. So every turn, I draw one extra card, pretty much. He's going to have to deal with me very fast, because he will not have a lot of time here. This combo no. is so broken. He knows every card. I don't know about broken, but pretty good. He's drawing two for turn. How, how do I beat this? For Stephanie Kruger would be this pleased. Asap, otherwise, this duel is over. So you didn't moisture a creature, even though you know I was playing a Hobbin deck. What did you get with that different dimension capsule? I don't know. Whatever. I'll set a card face down. Then I will set 
and set. Just gotta wait till he has a third uh, continuous spell. Cyber Drake. Whoa, whoa, mm. whoa. We have to set one. Slow down, bro. How do you know what's on top of my deck? <laughs> I think you're cheating. Using that rare hunter's secret eye and you know, let him see the top cards of his deck with okay. using yes. special ink. This is so good. Oh my well, god. Next card's another uh, Archfiend's Oath. Points? Yes. Oh, Archfiend's Oath? Yes. Then I get another one in my hand. That's I'm gonna call I'm... it a spell. And oh, ends. what are the odds? That means I can get rid of your different dimension capsule. Just go for it. Which means he won't get his search. I'm not scared. I'm but do you want to give him a thousand for that? That he already has a grandpa. I'm his grandson. <laughs> I will he is the grandson. No, oh, I know. I'm the grandson of Yugi. Duh. That's not nice. <laughs> it really is. Obelisk. He literally outed my only way to defat this lock. What's doubly funny is we get Penguin Zero in the next episode. The so this is foreshadowing. <laughs> Then I will activate my Archer Queen's Oath. Pay 500, call an ant, feed a feeding ant. It's not a one. It's a Sotless return? Oath. I draw three. Bro, I thought the cops showed up for a now. second. I cannot see a single world. I lose this. Next step, though, is to. <laughs> Don't worry, really we'll find one. It's free information I get off Convulsion of Nature. Let's push the advantage. Next card is another common. Um, I don't really like this Haman on top of my deck, so I'm gonna bring back a card from your Duel Knight history. Big Eye. Another card that works well with Archfiend's Oath. I can look at the top five of my deck and reorder them. So, five, Obviously, six, Haman's going on the bottom. Five. Put that on top. I'm gonna put the Convulsion of Nature on top of my deck. Sounds good. And then I will... Activate Upstart Goblin. Yep. How do you gain 1,000 life? Yep. And I get okay. my second Convulsion Nature to my hand. Yep. This card is an extra piece. Then. This way you can keep his combo on the field even yep. after Haman summoned. And I'll send my Convulsion of Nature. Mm hmm. And my Megamorph. Okay. To summon Ant Eater Eating Ant. Uh, well, like, ah. Both of the decks will turn upside down. So you get rid of two spell cards in order to summon and it. All right. You have two cards in hand. Yep. So anteater, you know, ant, I'll destroy your different. No. And then with my big eye, I will attack the monster you just set. <laughs> you I'm looking up anteater eating friends. other ants. Probably won't put it on screen because I'll forget. Turn. But you know, it doesn't really matter. The main phase two. I will pass uh, turn. Cannot be normal summoner set. Oh, this card can be set to except cannot be set by summon except by saying two spell or trap cards you control in the graveyard. And then it can destroy a spell charge your controls, but turn you into this effect, it cannot so attack. I I will normal summon can not you great, mind. but Triggering not atrocious, especially for the time. It's level five as well. Cyber Dragon out to get? <laughs> Yeah, Church guy's combo going out. Then I will attack you for 700. I will take my 700 points of damage. Too bad none of your knights can beat over my ants, eater. Yes. All right. And I will pass. I will. My knights will protect me. <laughs> my ant eater eating ants. Main phase one. Yes. I will use my anteater eating ant on your face. I will change, draw greed. Anteater eating yeah. ant and yes, just makes have. you feel bad for an anteater. It's like, what? So I lose my battle phase this turn. That is quite upsetting. Well, it essentially does. It can't attack because it's having another monster to attack with. Again. Yeah, here we are again, boys and girls and everything in between. Ah, you will not know what I'm going to draw. Hmm. I'll pay 500. Add messenger piece to make the hand. Can this card be banned already? Ha! Sam? You're such a Yu-Gi-Oh player. This card's results. annoying to me. Ban it, Konami. Do it now. And I will... 
pay 500. Although that's me with Super Poly. And, eat and every Medolce card. Kaki to me alive. Should be named Hard Ones Return. <laughs> Konami, Konami. <laughs> I know Trip is memeing, but there are some Yu-Gi-Oh players who are really like that. I will activate. And nobody takes them seriously, thankfully. Mind crush on all this the torment door. Bruh! That's not nice, dude. That's not nice, dude. Just wait till I get my liminal removal mind combo, mind. then you're in trouble. Are you kidding me, bro? Like I was gonna obelisk everything away. This card. This That's a sweet animation again. Combo. Better than the one, one he actually has in uh, Master Duel. Although the and one with the Vista Vega in the desert background is not bad. Just the original no one. Right now. I, need I am not a fan of the original you know, Egyptian piece. God artwork. And then it's it's fine because you're gonna, but it just Let's go, bro. We're they're just standing right there, just, and there's no background. I prefer the new designs where they're actually doing stuff and having dynamic looks. I guess if anyone could get away with just standing there, it would be gods. It's just like we're gods. You don't need to show off how great we are. We are gods. But, oh, and no. you can like the simplicity well, of a dude just standing there, but I don't know. I just like the more dynamic stuff more. Oh, okay. Yes. That said, the only animation no, of the do no, of the no, gods no, are no, able to get off okay. is obvious because he's only going to have. I think they gave him away or something. So now you've and and for free. Right, so like for yeah. raw, mm, I ain't paying I my URs for that. Are you out of your mind? I'm out of URs. Do you think I'm paying it for an Egyptian god? But I can use it on my Salamon grates or something. Uh, you're out of your mind. Anyway, go ahead. You get more you are for doing the PvP events. Yeah, but nah. Give me an Egyptian god. Oh, heart of the cards. I was really hoping that top. <laughs> I'm happy with that one. I will use Upstar Goblin. Okay, so Convulsion has given me the gift of knowing exactly what he has. Dust Tornado and Call of Haunted. Now, I have multiple star cards in my hand. The biggest thing I want to make sure... Uh, I do is make sure that the Dust Nader was gone for the end of the turn. That way I can replace the any of the cards he destroyed with new ones that I've kept in my hand. So if he destroys a messenger, I can play level limit and I'm feeling comfortable. Because pretty much the only way I lose now is if he gets a surprise kill on me, and I have to make sure that doesn't happen. My knights will protect me from you, and I will pass. I'll draw for turn. Come on. I'll pay 100 for messenger piece. Yep. Man phase one? Yes. It's Archmean's Oath, paying 500 life points, and I'll call Cyber Dragon. <sighs> We're stacking all these cards, but it doesn't really matter. Is it lighting the load? Yes. Shuffle back my helmet? Yes. I'll shuffle, <laughs> I'll shuffle these down. Okay, so now you gotta turn it back up. Level limit area B. Interesting. So I draw that card. <laughs> and I'm having so much fun. I'll pay 500. Call anti to reading end. Yep. Have you, uh, wait, I think you already used one. Used one, yeah. No, but then you just used, oh, that drew that. Yeah. And did you take 100 from Mr. Piece? Okay. Right. That's fine. Right, just paying attention to the rules. That's so perfectly fine. Now you have two hands in your hands, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I know you hold on. Okay. Anti reading up hand. If I could target this card. Chain. Oh god, this song. It's unfortunate to be honest. Because this is Dust Tornado, which is called the Haunted. You check his graveyard, so it was called the Haunted. Took a 50 50 points. I will send one oath and lighten the load. Mm -hmm. For another anteater. So another anteater in the end. Okay. So far, this thing has been a better Haman than Haman. Well, we'll chain. Wait. Oh, thank you. So you have level limit? Wait, no. He uh, uses effect. I, I thought he was Haman. declaring an attack. It's like, but peace. Like level limit, Haman, anteater. I'll pop this. Now the decks go face down again. Dust Tornado, here's my answer. Convulsion of Nature, no more. So at this point, we, we got back control of Everything the Everything is a mystery it was again. It plusing way too much. It was getting out of... It was just yeah, the crazy. plusing didn't really so matter because it just right kept now, stalling. Uh, we just got to keep grinding it, here. Whenever I'm in the stall situation, they're duel. just going on cards like, go right insane. ahead, you're losing the you deck out, not me, bro. I always do. I will pass turn to you. Yugi, guide me. 
Yugi, you betrayed me. I'll have to pass. Drop a turn. You can activate Cavalage to get a okay, re right back where we started. Yep. It's time for the feel of my wrath. Oh. Activate. Bring it. Level limiter AB. Okay. Okay, that turns your anti ears to defense okay. mode. Not a big deal for me though. Because then I'll send all three of you. Here we go. Here it comes. The special summon Hama. Uh oh. It's time. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Like if you yeah, they went to the defense mode via card okay. effect. He is allowed to I'll switch to your position to get in. I wasn't really giving you a choice. Okay. Yeah. Well, I let you this was not a yes or no question. And then you may need these monsters. I feel like they can both be offered a way to summon a. A lot of gold, you nice. bitch. Thank you. Oh, the, I wanted those flip badly now we get to close and killed out by this battle. Duel. He has some silly ass face down monsters. Too bad Lavagon cleans those up. Bye bye. And this Next is the problem I ran into whenever I face stall yeah. decks. Go ahead and empty your deck out first. Oh, oh you win. Damn it. Oh, my Oh, my God! The Koichi, my nibble manga is gone. Lava Golem? Oh my God, guys! In this scenario, there are not many cards in Yu-Gi-Oh to save me. I literally need all the heart of the cards. My only answer in my whole deck to win the duel is Pot of Avarice into Soul Exchange or Soul Exchange. Soul Exchange is literally my only answer. Come on, Yugi. Come on. I know you got <laughs> His me. two outs is five. Time. So his entire strategy now is pop average into two soul Strike exchanges. Lava, it's not the greatest oh. plan, but it's a plan that could work. When your choice wants for a battle, you take an extra thousand points of damage. Yes. So even though Lava Golem will be sticking around, still take that extra thousand. Now Lava Golem should go to is, is in the wrong the graveyard. I don't. You still have another Jack's Knight, possibly another King's Knight. So let's kill your Queen's Knight. There's no XYZ's out yet. I'll kill the stronger GX Knight. All right. He's playing smart. Oh, and no. I know what I need to save me. I end my turn. Pot of Avarice, come to Please. me. Please. I'm begging. Oh, you know what my hand? Cyber Dragon, and you didn't Nice deck. So I'd have to defeat your board. I'm handling monsters like... Car destruction. All right, so I know my only answer here. So you do this. 6,000, my goodness. I'll pass my dream. Draw for turn. You got nothing. I will enter the battle phase. Yes. My ant, kill your knight. Yes. And I'll take 6,000. Good. Putting me at 1,000. You may have Hom and Connect. Dang. Any monster. Yes. It's over. But you see, Jesse, are you passing your turn? Yeah, I think uh, Okay, I, I have two ways to win there. this. Pot of Avarice or Premature Burial. I understand how premature it's helping, but maybe he got he's trying to revive Queen's Knight. <laughs> nothing. You got nothing. Are you sure I'm at one thousand and not like I didn't mind a recount. I think I'm at like twelve hundred. Well, you see you've only taken damage like three times and yes. you just paint like a truck so hard. Yo look over there, potato! <laughs> he he just draw another potato. He's drawing another. He's, he's drawing extra he's cards. He's I'm cheating. Okay, uh, I'll just kill you. No, not yet. Wait, I, I didn't give you consent to finish my turn yet. You're also cheating. I, I'm not. I'll do what Sam could never do. Contribute some an ancient gear goal. Oh, <laughs> now we're just throwing oh salt in the wounds. Now how do I finish you off? Whatever, doesn't matter, both of them will share equal attacks. Alright, well, Trip G, he gave up the right to a turn at that point. GG's. Hey, I, he's just looking for the, where the hell the Pot of Avarice was. It looks like he drew an Imbomo manga, but I don't know if that was one of the so, look over there first draws. First match done, deck performed, chef's guess. So, let's hope we get the combo off next Trip. time, too. Uh, Jesse the came out on top in this, on this one. one man. That's very disappointing. Honestly, Honestly, we, I, I, I thought it might pull through and get him Pot of Avarice, too. but that was not today, unfortunately. The combo is pretty dang good, Convulsion and Archfiend Dose. Well, you guys can go check it out Convulsion and Nature is one of those cards with combos and just like, who the freak would think of this? 
Your deck is not Yu-Gi-Oh! players with a level, crazy baby. smile. So it's like Table 500. It's like... There you go. Table 500 is one of the... I like to call... You people have way too much free time. Or you guys are way too bored at work. seeing you guys. I read all the comments. And I can't wait to watch this live. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Uh, Jesse managed to beat one of his rivals, but if Sam... Well, we uh, Sam lost. Sorry. Brain Bart. But can you beat soon? Okay, soon. We'll find right, out we soon. Meet again in the finals. Yeah. The can we make it 1-1 one, one, or it'll be 2-0? Oh. better luck this time, though. I know you do, and I'm kind of scared, but I'm going to get this dub again. All right? I want to beat the World Master Champion again. Jesse has a belt. I want that belt. All right. Let's I'll go. I'll get that belt. I'll never get that belt. High roll. Ooh, that's pretty good for me. Pretty yeah. that's pretty Why right. is everyone starting with really sixes stuff. against me? Ooh, Ooh wait, wait. Jesse. Now you gotta roll again. No, Three. Dude. That was what Jesse rolled last no, time with base trip. Oh, oh, uh, it doesn't table. doesn't count. Doesn't count. Roll two. Please, please, please. Three. Ooh, Are you kidding me? Three, this is like rock paper scissors when you both get rock and then both get scissors and then you both get paper. I had I had a game of rock paper. Ooh. I had a game of rock paper scissors go on for like a solid two minutes, and by the end, it was just like I don't even care who goes first anymore. I just want this to end, you know. <laughs> I don't want Jesse to get his combo off, guys. Steven, congratulations, you won rock paper scissors. Oh right, there's a duel going on. Oh right, right. You <laughs> are. I'm so tired. It might have actually been two minutes. It might just felt like that, but you know what I mean, right? Your move. Drop a turn. Your move. Main phase one. Mm -hmm. I activate card destruction. Of my combo. Oh boy. Of nature, both for next combo. Upside down. Oh boy, here we go again. <laughs> okay. Oh, you got. Oh look, soon has Sam's fake laugh too. Lighten the load. I'll put this as politely as possible. I know I'm a better duelist than Soon. <laughs> so when both of us are given. And how'd you lose? Hands. I'll have better tools to figure All right, because you're playing. What the fuck was that? So don't the Ojama mess. Soon, but this works better in my favor that we both have our top of our decks revealed the entire game. I will set face down. Okay. And I'll activate the level limit area B. That means level four higher goes to defense. Correct. That's it. Yep. Cool. Okay, my turn. Um, I'll call my turn there. Draw. Dark Mimic level three next. We're talking about lightning. Targeting, yes. Yeah, so I only one card. You're raising right. Dark Worlds now. Okay. Look out. Decoration. It does nothing? It does nothing. It does nothing. by a card effect, nothing happens. Okay. Discard a Raviel. Sure. Flip. Sure. Attack. This card's got 200 attacks. This is the Kryptonite. Interesting. Alright. Go. Go, Jesse. This is why you always put your Jerry Beans man in your deck, everybody. Does affect so what it does is once per turn I can add, uh, it's really stupid wording, add a level 7 or higher for my monster, uh, for my monster, a level 7 or higher monster, yeah. for my hand yeah. to my deck, shuffle it, draw a card. It's so actually like a budget card trader, pretty much. It but, is, it, uh, it, it, the wording is good, but, yeah. I would like yeah. to shuffle my deck. I'll put back my ancient gear going. Okay, shuffle it. Sure. Would you like to give it a nice cut? I do. And then we'll both get to see the next card I'm drawing. When you're done, flip it upside down. All right, let's go. Jesse's gonna draw. Messenger piece. Uh, that doesn't hurt me. The same, this one that Sam oh. looks like he has a stain on. Oh, that's a nice card. <laughs> oh. Ooh, interesting. How did it part two of combo? Okay. Um, it is. Single look at it. So you're gonna just shovel one more turn. card out the top. Cool. Ooh. Continue by setting a single monster face down. And I think I'll call it over there. Your turn. Okay, one second. No hard. Okay. Draw. Yeah, the Dark Mimic. Level three. I don't want that combo to go off, right? You I probably do not want that combo to go off, because I'll be drawing two cards a turn while you're drawing one. I definitely don't. Yeah, okay. but you'll deck out first. Turn to me. Ooh, okay. That'll put a pause on it. Okay. All right, guys, it isn't the best move, but of course, I have to use Giant Trunade. I don't want Jesse to get off his combo with his continuous spell card. So, of course, I have to do it. He's going to get it off regardless, it though. Turn. Just so literally next turn. turn. To get me something better in my hand. True, okay, and so it does turn Trunade, off the level of it for wants to turn off the bottom of my deck. That's fine, but he needs to push and this. It, yeah, uh, and it does opening. make sure he doesn't Very get the card fast. next turn. So that's smart thinking. Unless we find that the Archie is also on the top slash bottom, next next <laughs> 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 the bottom of his deck. Or on the bottom of his deck, which is now the top of his deck, to be more clear with my wording. 
I'm gonna normal summon. Dark level, level three. Okay. Come into the battle phase. Sure. Attack. Dark limit. You attack into another Dekoichi, which has a thousand defense. Can you draw one? Attack face, draw a card. I like that to be the Archman's Oath, but I'll take whatever this is. It's, it's terrible. It's terrible for me. Okay, your turn. Draw a return. And I'll switch to defense. I'll just keep with you. That's okay. You can do that. Thank you very much. Yeah, Sorry. yeah. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. So, I'm going to act for the Convulsion Nature again, because, you know, I kind of want to see this Archman's Oath card. Yes, sir. Okay. Imagine if it changed from Archfiend's Oath to like uh, uh, another messenger piece. Do I want to attack this Dekoichi into your Dark Limit to draw a card? Probably not. Both of those have effects when destroyed by battle. Mm -hmm. So instead, I will just reactivate the Vulnerary B. Okay. Um, and I think I'm going to call it a Dark Limit because level 3 though, so uh -huh. it can keep attacking. I'm going to set one. You don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a mystery. No. The world may never know. And I'm going to also switch this to defense mode. Your turn. Oh, he gets. Archman's oh. <gasps> oh, you're done for. Did, did that mean it works twice? Yep. Oh my goodness. Right. A 500. Wow. Brow was also Archman's level three, so it could attack under the messenger though. and Archman. level limit. Every time you use it, you use 500. Yes. And 1400 on level three bad. isn't. Terrible. Actually, it is bad. That is not bad. Okay. I will act. There's like different levels, like how the attacks work. The yeah. terabyte giving in low level monsters high attack points, but they are not terrified of giving them a high defense points. Okay. It's home. Lambo Guard is level seven. one and has 100 attack, but Why? 2,000 defense. No. No. For Hallman. But they also have. Yeah, but also didn't the... have a lot of beats. So, so Hello, Haman. Right? If, if he it kills a monster. You take a thousand. That's and it. if Walt's in defense mode, you have to target him for attacks. Okay, gotcha. That's it. Okay. This looks familiar. I forgot what I was talking about. It's because I'll oh, yeah. your two usually don't monsters. Usually the level, the level monsters aren't beat six. Oh my goodness. Except for the dry trunk, but they're effects, so. I, I, I got nothing. I get no effects. And attack or defense. I'll summon in attack mode, because. Okay. And of course, there are case by case cases where that's yes. right, incredibly yes. wrong, but you know what I'm trying okay. to say I'll overall. It'd be fun to use it, but free card. Won't say no. Okay. I'll use 500 more life points. Oh my goodness. Next card is quite powerful. You're gonna have hand fast. Insane. Insane. Okay. Insane in the membrane. The insane in the brain. The Koichi. How do I save it for now? Hmm. Mm. You have three in hand. Do I let you shuffle your deck? I don't think I want to. So, my Haman will attack your Lava Golem and inflict. 1,000 points of damage. Okay. Well, he actually sent to the correct yes, graveyard. Yeah, wow. I'm at 6,000. And just like that, Jesse took the lead. And I think that'll be it for me. Go ahead. I see him switches to Kochi okay. to attack mode, but I guess he doesn't want to get a, let him to get a search. Thank you very much. Karibo. I will draw my brow. Okay. Hmm. Okay, one second. All right, I got something. Something. You're not expecting. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna banish Dark Mimic level one, Dark Mimic level three, Raphael, Lord of Phantasm. Dark Necrofear. From my hand. Dark Necrofear. Nothing else would need three Come things to, to be field, banished. My secret weapon. That I know Dark of. Dark Necrofear. Dark Necrofear is gonna that was actually a guys. sick animation. I know it's not the best strategy, but I can attack Dark Necrofear into Haman, and then of course Dark will die, but I can get Haman next turn. Hopefully, I can Smart survive. Smart strategy. Only Haman is my sacred beast. Oh, zoom, 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 zoom. You can see the top card on my deck is anti eating Ant, right? Like, surely? You're I'll just take the Haman right back. Part, I'll take it. Jesse, you know what that does? Do you know, do you know Jesse? I do, but I'll read it out loud for okay. all the viewers. So, it cannot be a normal summon set, must first be special summoned by banishing three fiend monsters from your graveyard. During the end phase, if this card is in your grave because it's destroyed in your monster zone by an opponent's card and sent there this turn, target one face to monster opponent controls, equip this card to the target. While this card is equipped to a monster by its effect, take control of that monster. So, my hominin is now yours. Uh, after in I make theory. Th in theory. Yes, it is. Yes, you're, you're, you're right. I'm going to normal summon my brow huntsman of the dark world. Sure. Okay. Do you mind if I read your next card, Jesse? And then he summons Ravi. Oh, really so you may want to do that before doing this, but have fun. Take a take a look at my anti eater reading end. This card cannot be special, but sent by two spell types. So this card can show one spell type, but it cannot attack. Turn. 
What's wrong with that? He's just gonna just get summoned. Okay, interesting. Wait just... to find out, Sam. Okay. I'm yeah, you'll find out the hard way. Bro, destroy this guy. Sure. Don't Echo Fear will attack Haman. I'll lose 1800. Actually, you'll lose 2800 because when my guy destroys a monster at battle, you take an extra thousand. Oh, wow. Oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> my bad, Jesse. Okay, my bad. Okay, so I lose 2800. Okay. Um, I am going to. So, Dark Knight was effect. From the end phase. At the end so phase. You're ending your turn, you use So, it. I am going to be ending my turn. And I'm gonna take Haman. Haman's gonna be mine. Do your bidding. Thank you very much. Haman is mine. Give me Haman. You fool. Come on. Right. See, the I'll reason soon that he's so common because at least Jesse yes. will have to get rid of his two continuous want, spell cards. Oh, I'm well known for in the community. I don't. Besides a belt. The Thunder Dragon deck. Okay. Thunder Dragon. And uh, like Mjolnir for Thor, yeah. Haman for me will return to me. Okay. It will not stay with you. I'll draw my anti reading end. Okay. And the next part is the formality. I'll pay 500. Yes, you just won the duel. Roll. Okay, so you pay 500, add mine crush. Okay. So I lose 1,000. Fair, fair. Okay, but I card, you have to tribute two of your spells, summon him. Ah, uh, happily. <laughs> happily. <laughs> Messenger of Peace. <laughs> and an unknown card, Same which we're going to find out in a second. Oh, there's another little limit. Okay, so what do you do? In fact, we'll destroy Dark Necrofear. Anti reading end. Oh my goodness. Like Mjolnir, I'll call back my Haman. Come back to me. Like Mjolnir, I'll call it. Come back to me, Haman. This it's time, Jesse. My, it's my mistake. I should start reading my cards better. And in this case, Jesse's cards better. I didn't read the yeah. effect that he could destroy my Dark Necrofear as a spawn trap card. And now. Yeah, because because of the spawn Haman trap back. card effectively. It's, it's in the back, bro. Oh my goodness. But he can't attack us first. And it can't. can't. Haman can. Eating ants. I can't. Oh yes. my god, that was a tongue twister. Yeah, no, ants eater a... eating ants can't Haman attack. Can. Yes. And, uh, this should be enough. Haman! Strike down soon with your judgment. Oh, attack and destroy just... Brow. <laughs> that will know. delay the duel, but you'll still take a thousand damage from right, Haman's so effect. Survive. One turn. You're only delaying the inevitable. Your Brow still dies, and you still take 1,000 points of burn damage from Haman destroying a monster by battle. Your end is near. It does not matter how long you delay it. Draw with me to Exodia. <laughs> it's might be facts. That's facts. Go right. ahead. One I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw what can save me. Creep out. Okay. Hmm. Am I 2200? 2200. So, if I set Creepo, I'll do I'll do a thousand. Right, which is right. Correct. Which might be better. Probably is. That's what I'm gonna do. I mean, the alternative is he like le doesn't do anything. He attacks search. Scar. Scar get gets search or something, and then draw. Jesse attacks yes. directly with whatever. Yes. Pay, 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 and pay then he'll have to make three by five. Because even if Haman right. attacks, right. if Haman attacks Scar, then he'll take a thousand damage and be down to twelve hundred life. Which an anteater eating ant can kill it. If anteater eating ant attacks. Egg Scar, then Hamon can attack directly, and that would be enough to wipe him out, in which case, soon has to activate Karibo. So, in, like, in both scenarios, soon is screwed. Wait, what? Does piercing damage, ancient gear go Oh, bro. You kept that Karibo in your hand. I played Sam's deck for good. Oh, boy. I reveal Rabbi no little risk to take considering it only seals your doom. Pick a random card for me to discard. It does not matter. It does matter. Line uh, the load? Fine with me. Uh, you seem to be at 2200, and this does 3000 of piercing over 500. Jesse, let me convince you on sparing me one turn. Spare me one turn! Spare me one turn! Spare me one turn! <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, do you see where, so you may not. There is. My name is Sam. Pass my turn. There is. Sam, do you remember what happened in 2018 in YCS London versus the kid on future match? And I show you no mercy. Turn. And you destroyed him. Attack. No. <laughs> yeah. Jesse, you say to me, ancient gear golem mechanized melee. Just say is that what it says? Yes. Yes. Mechanized. Who needs Harmon? Ancient gear golem mechanized melee. At least beat me anime style, bro. <laughs> Congratulations, Jesse. If it is your story, by you gotta win. Round of applause for you. Round of applause. I never thought I'd be in this situation. It's like, can the champion get his win already? But here we are. Jesse, that was a good duel. Guys, fun fact I've been in three Duel Night finals and I've played Jesse in all three of them. What are the odds, right? Twice, I've been in once. Jesse, 
Next time, I'm getting you again. I, I, good games, he said he won one already. Work on yeah, I must work on that one. Bit, but well, hey, good for Jesse. We're gonna go in either way. It takes time. He needs more to representation. To maximum point. potential. Anyways, thank you guys. So Congratulations, much for Jesse. You earned the win. Soon, put up a good fight, cool though. No one down without a fight. Except for maybe Sam is a genius. Whoops. This proves, though, that sacred beasts are better because, unlike the sacred, unlike the Egyptian gods, they showed up. In discussion, talking about how I designed it all. But yeah, and it should be good duels with good stuff between all of the good friends. And next time we're going to be seeing most critical games of the game. I imagine we're going to kick out Justin for that one or something. We can't prove anything, but yeah, that one should be interesting for sure. How do you say no to that? I know that Penguin Zero isn't really a Yu-Gi-Oh player from what little I've seen of him because he doesn't make a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh content. Obviously, like maybe, maybe, so maybe who knows? Maybe he's a pro just doesn't focus his channel on. He focuses more on drama, which is fine. You know, your YouTube channel, you make the rules, but you know, maybe it'll be a surprise. Maybe he'll actually find out to be the ultimate duelist of all time. Time will tell in that episode. But yeah, congratulations, Jesse. You absolutely earned it, and you put up a great fight. Everyone else did a good job too, but you know, Jesse was the champion. Who knows what a surprise? The champion got a win. I'm gonna I get think a the last time Jesse won was three. Again. Was it and COVID? Made the match I don't on remember. Patreon. So of course, if you guys haven't, join <laughs> the, the COVID Patreon episode, content, the B team episode. See me potentially do some more duels and just so much more fun content you don't want to miss. Guys, this that's okay. I'll miss it. It's crazy. cool. Congratulations to Jesse. Goss Sometimes it's okay. I miss out. It's not just gonna be like, bro, you're missing out. Okay. Was probably my favorite. I guess I miss out then. One sucks, but to you, whatever. Jesse and Haman. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Catch us in the ultimate losers match right now between. No, me, no, I don't think I will. Steven, but yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Later.